Hi everyone, Miss Bart here with today's lesson. I hope you're well and I hope you're keeping safe. Also, I hope you're remembering to be kind to one another. In the next couple of weeks, our PSHE lessons are going to be based on diversity. But today's lesson is all about the range of faiths and ethnicities in our nation, in the UK, and identifying ways of showing respect to all people. Our success criteria today is what I hope you should be able to do at the end of this lesson is exploring national statistics. You can discuss how to show respect to others who are different and why is this important and understanding what diversity is and the importance of respecting and celebrating it. So what kind of people live in our nation, in our community of Slough? And how can we show respect for people whose faith or ethnicity is different to our very own? We are British people. So what kind of people do you think live in our nation? So, or in Slough, or study at the school tea lab? Can you write those down? Once you've written it down, can you shout out your thoughts? Fabulous. What do you notice? I notice that we live in a diverse nation where there's lots of different ethnicities. There are different communities living together, different religions. We all live as one. So religion, ethnicity. Our nation and Slough is a very diverse society. Living in the UK, we are invited to or we are able to see lots of different ethnicities together. That's what makes us a fantastic place to live. There are so many different people living here. There are different cultures, traditions, beliefs, religions, and ethnicities. Diversity helps us to learn and grow as people. It is something that we should celebrate. Our nation is also a democracy. This means that there is a belief in freedom and equality between all people, that the British government is based on this belief. If you remember, we did do about the human rights of a child last term. Also, if you remember, Miss Rampton and her free flow group did exactly the same. Every human has a right to live a safe, happy and healthy, fulfilling right. No matter who they are, this comes from law and also this also comes from how people want to, how they choose to live their life. It's all about our responsibility to help the rights of others in our community throughout the world and who we meet. So being British is all about respecting and valuing each other's differences and treating all people with kindness. There is something, that is something very, that we should be very proud of. Religion and ethnicity. Below, we're going to see a table that shows us a form of lots of religions and ethnicities represented in our nation. This is gathered by the 2011 census. I have had a look. There's no other census out there besides the 2011. I want you to have a look. What information can you find by looking at these tables? I want you to write three questions. Fabulous. Once you've written these three questions, I'd like you to answer those questions. Great. So we've learned now we've learned about the different ethnicities. Now we're going to learn about respect. We have seen that there are people that many different religions and ethnicities living in our nation. It's important to show respect to those with a different faith or ethnicity to our own. I want you to note down on a large piece of paper, using colour pencils if you wish, or draw a spider diagram, and write down what do you think is respect? What different ways can we show respect to others? And why is showing respect to all people, whatever their faith or ethnicity, important? And how does showing respect to others make them feel? I want you to pause the video and Draw the biggest spider diagram that you can do 
and answer those questions. Great job. Now, I want you to have a look at your spider diagram and I wanna see if you've got these things written down too. We can show respect to others by accepting who they are, where they come from and what they believe. We can smile and be friendly to all people wherever they come from or whatever they do. We can take time to find, about, find out about people asking them questions about their chosen way of life. Showing respect to all people, whatever their faith or ethnicity, can help make our country and school a much happier and a more harmonious place. We can also learn a lot from our differences too. We are very fortunate to live in such a diverse nation, a community such as Slough, and go to such a diverse school as the Langley Academy Primary. So, showing respect to all people, whatever their faith or ethnicity, has a positive impact. What I'd like you to do is, I want you to design a poster to encourage others in school to show respect to everyone, explaining how to do this and why is it important. So, what information are you going to include on your poster? What images are you going to include? And how are you going to set it out? I have a word bank of words, respect, faith, differences, similarity, ethnicities, consequence, impact, positive. Also, I want you to think about the law that the UK have created in order for us to respect one another. So I would like you to put up on tapestry your poster that you have created. I would like to see a lot of information on there, a lot of colour. Also, I want to see the questions that you've written down about the data and also about the respect that you have done previously. So I want to see all this work up on Tapestry. Keep safe and I hope to see you next week. Goodbye.